Today, we are here to say, shipmate, the watch stands relieved, relieved by those you have trained and guided and led. Shipmate, you stand relieved. We have the watch. That reading goes out day after day after day, representing all of us who are standing the watch, not just because someone is retiring, not just because someone is departing the pattern, but because we stand the watch and we stand it with vigilance. We stand the watch intentionally going into harm's way. And the way that we're able to execute our mission is by proper watch standing. We were directed by the Chief of Naval Operations to execute a operational pause, which we have done. And the results of that operational pause have yielded several different ways that we can stand our watch and stand it better. And my encouragement to each watch stander, my encouragement to every CO and XO and Command Master Chief to those command teams is that we continue to seek, even after the pause is over and those results come in and we survey those results and determine what's right for our command, to take the posture of we own it, we are empowered and authorized to do it, and then execute. I implore each and every leader out there, look at those feedbacks that you get from your watch standards, figure out ways that we can perhaps add technology or figure out ways that no matter the culture, our technology and our culture working together will allow us to stand that vigilant watch, which we have done for over 240 years. Chief Petty Officers, what can we do as a global mess to take ownership and prevent any tragic accident, I would tell you that sound watch standing, procedural compliance, and the professional competencies of being the subject matter expert in our rates that get after leading sailors to procedural compliance and ownership in everything that happens on our command. I am incredibly proud of what you do every day, and I know that as a mess, we take ownership uh, of what is going on in our Navy today, and we will drive our sailors, we will drive our commands to ensure that we have a culture of safety, a culture of procedural compliance, and a culture of operational mission success. So as we come out of the operational pause, I encourage each and every one of you to stand your watch with a renewed measure of zeal, a renewed vigor, a renewed understanding of the mission and your responsibility within that. Across the Sixth Fleet, we are continuously engaged with our NATO allies, partner nations, whether that's in Europe or on the continent of Africa. Our sailors are getting after building enduring relationships that are essential and key to victory today and in the future. I'd encourage everyone to step out with 10 two-letter words. Tuck them away in your heart, put them in, into your mind. More importantly, allow them to be seen in your day-to-day -day interaction with each other. And certainly while uh, on watch and out on liberty, those 10 words are, if it is to be, it is up to me. Live that out and we'll continue to fight and win.